The next big thing that fans are waiting to be completed at Disneyland Paris is the second phase of the Walt Disney Studios Park. This includes a promenade with the Gardens and Rapunzel flat ride, the giant lake and restaurant which will hopefully hold some great shows, and the Frozen inspired land, Arendelle the World of Frozen. Construction is finally moving in a good pace, with the lake completely dug out, Frozen going vertical and entering the Lego assembly phase, and much more. If you're interested to learn more about this expansion and some updates, make sure to watch our video on it. The big question is, when will this open? I tried to make a projection on that video, taking in consideration a lot of factors, but to simply put it, I project this to open in late 2024 or early 2025. Now, Disney could open this in phases, maybe the lake, restaurant and Rapunzel ride in 2024 and Frozen in 2025. Today, I planned some imaginary additions to the parks until the big studio's expansions open. These are supposed to take not too long to develop, so that they could entertain guests during 2023 and 2024. Before we begin, make sure to check the description and join our community by following us on Twitter, subscribing to the channel or joining the Discord with fans just like you. These are just ideas and are not in development by Disney, as far as I know. I'll be gradually increasing the level of difficulty and cost, the last one being probably the most expensive one, and my favorite. I've had this video planned for a while, and the first two editions I was thinking were a new nighttime spectacular for both the Disneyland Park and Walt Disney Studios. Since then it has officially been announced that this will actually happen. The grand return of Disney Dreams will happen in April of this year and a new Marvel themed drone show will be presented from January to May. If you'd like to learn more about these news, make sure to check our video from last week. So, with those two brand new shows, my list becomes a little shorter. But let's move on to the next idea. One thing that Disneyland Paris is good at is seasons. What are these? Well, they bring limited time offerings such as entertainment, merchandise and food to the parks, which creates a different atmosphere for the visitors. One of the most successful ones was the very acclaimed Jungle Festival with the characters from the Jungle Book and the Lion King as the main attention. Another one was a season of the Force with Star Wars sprinkled through the parks, mostly studios. Now, they could either bring back and update an older one or create a new one from scratch. I believe that everyone enjoys these, as long as they're actually developed and not just thrown together some weeks before. So, as this is a video about ideas, here's mine. Classic Disney. During the celebrations, guests could meet several classic Disney characters from the early days of the company. This would also be an amazing addition to the celebrations of the 100 Years of Wonder this year. With some day shows as well as a pre-show on the castle, remembering early animation with Steamboat Willie, Snow White and more classic characters, there would be a lot to see. The main character of the season though would be the beloved Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. We just need to see more Oswald in the parks. Avengers Campus opened last summer and brought with it two attractions, restaurants, shops and more. But one thing guests were quite impressed with was the entertainment available in the land. From meet and greets to rooftop stunt shows complete with small pyrotechnic effects to random Avengers appearances, there's definitely something for everyone. But there's still something missing. In its sister land California adventure, guests can watch Spider-Man soar the skies with the help of Imagineering's Stunt-tronic. This was rumored to also be available in the Parisian version of the land, but didn't make it. Currently, it is believed that the needed infrastructure is all there, so the addition of this amazing device isn't too far-fetched, and would definitely bring a new sense of wonder to the land. 
While on Avengers Campus, we can talk about the elephant in the room. Motor's action stunt show Spectacular was an opening day show in Walt Disney Studios, containing some incredible stunts with fire, cars, pyro and more. It closed during the construction of the campus and currently sits abandoned, which is in my opinion a bit of a waste. But what could they showcase here? Well, I'm sure the entertainment division would make a great job creating something, but here's my idea. A recreation of the New York battle from the original Avengers movie. It could either be a serious stunt show or a funny one using some of the incredible music from Rogers the Musical, which appeared in the Hawkeye show. I honestly think that this should really happen, as that space is just abandoned and increases the capacity of not only the land, but the park as well, as it can take up to 5,000 guests per showing. Staying for a little longer in Avengers Campus, we can find one of the e-ticket attractions of the park, Flight Force. In this epic roller coaster, guests are introduced to the famous Avengers characters Iron Man and Captain Marvel in the elaborate pre-shows one of which contains an incredible Iron Man animatronic. Here we learn that alien missiles are coming to Earth, and we have to help them defeat the enemies. It's fair to say that the queue sets the anticipation to high, only for a nearly pitch black ride. The roller coaster itself is pretty fun and intense, but has nothing to look at. Well, you do have a screen here and there, but for most of it, darkness. I suggest that an update to the ride should be made. This could include more screens and even some real sets like the ones found in Epcot's Cosmic Rewind, such as Earth. Going back into the Disneyland Park, Disney should either create or import a nighttime parade. These are incredible, and since during the summer the fireworks show is displayed so late, it could be a great way to keep guests entertained. Disneyland Paris isn't a stranger to these parades, as there have been several, such as the fan favorites, Main Street Electrical Parade and Fant Illusion. The return of nighttime parades would be a very welcome addition, especially for those long summer days. And now we arrive at the last idea of the video, Bring Back the Moon. Space Mountain has been neglected for far too long, and changes need to happen. The original ride was based around Jules Verne's From the Earth to the Moon, but has since received two cheap overlays. Now, not only the ride but the facade as well looks bad, and it's aging more each day. I think that it's time to, for a complete refurbishment of everything, bring a new story based on the beloved book, or just remake the old version where you would blast off the Columbiad Cannon on your way to the moon. If you're interested in, in learning more about this amazing attraction, make sure to check my video on it. The ride opened in 1995, so it's turning 25 years old in just a couple of years. Now would be the perfect time to do this and reopen for its anniversary. People say that Star Wars sells well, and so they keep the hyperspace mountain version, but I don't quite agree. The merchandise opportunities are huge when talking about the original version of the ride, from hats to shirts, to books, there's a lot that can be done from Space Mountain. Which one of the ideas in this video do you like the most? Let me know down below and give me your own ideas. And now, as always, thank you for watching, and that's a wrap.